Okay, welcome back to Mr. Hassan's Maths Channel. I'm answering question number eight from the June 2017, um, the GCE Core Mathematics C1 paper. And this question is about straight line graphs. And we're told the straight line L1 shown in figure one has equation 5y plus 4x, sorry, 5y equals 4x plus 10. 5y equals 4x plus 10. 10. The point P with x coordinate 5 lies on line 1. So this point here has an x coordinate of 5 and the y coordinate, we'll just call it yp. We don't know what it is right now. And the straight line L2 is perpendicular to line 1. So these are right angles with each other and passes through the same point P. Um, it says find an equation for line 2 writing your form, answer in the form ax plus by plus c equals zero, where a, b, and c are integers. So we need to find the equation of this line. It's a straight line. And to find the equation of a straight line, we need two pieces of information. One is we need the gradient of the line, and the, another is we need a point on the line. And the equation line one is going to help us to find both of those things. Well, first of all, we've got the equation of this line, which passes through the point p. So the x and y values of the point P will satisfy this equation. So if I substitute 5 into this equation, okay, instead of x, it will cause this equation to be true. So if I substitute 5 into this equation, I can find the y value at P. So I can find the coordinates of P, okay, by, I can find the coordinates of P by substituting x equals 5 into the equation 5y equals 4x plus 10. So if I substitute x equals 5 into here, I'll have 5y equals 4 times 5 plus 10. That's 20 plus 10, which is 30. So I'll have 5y is equal to 30. So y is equal to 6. So I can say the equation or the, the point P is 5, 6. And the other thing I can do is I can take equation uh, line 1 and I can work out from it its gradient. So I can say that 5y equals 4x plus 10. If I express it in the form y equals mx plus c, by dividing both sides by 5, I'll have 4 over 5x. 10 divided by 5 is 2. So I can therefore say that the gradient of line 1 is equal to 4 over 5. So therefore, the gradient of line 2 is perpendicular. Line 1 and line 2 are perpendicular. So we can say that line 1 gradient times line 2 gradient is equal to negative 1. They are negative reciprocals. So the equation or the gradient of line 2 is going to be minus 5 over 4, the negative reciprocal of line 1. So that's the gradient of this line, line 2. So now we have two points or two things that we need. These are the two things that we need to find the equation of a straight line. So we can find the equation of the line by using the formula y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. And that will tell us the um, equation of this straight line. And we want it in this form where we want a, b, and c to be integers. So all the coefficients have to be integers. So let's substitute the values in. You have y minus 6 equals m, which is minus 5 over 4 times x minus 5. Now let's multiply both sides by 4 first to get rid of the fraction. So 4y minus 24 equals minus 5 times x minus 6. Now let's multiply both sides by negative or multiply expand this bracket, sorry, uh, to distribute that negative 5. So 4y minus 24 equals negative 5x plus, um, that's a 5 here, sorry. That's a bad mistake. Good thing I spotted it. So it's, it's plus 25, minus 5 times minus 5 is plus 25. And now I can express it in the form I want, which is ax plus by plus equals 0. So let me just Add 5x to both sides, so this will say 5x and plus 4y, and I've got negative 24. Take away 25 is going to be minus 49 equals 0, and there I have the answer to part A. Okay, so that's the answer to part A for this question. Now I'm going to go on to part B. So we've got um, some of the things that we need. I'm going to write on part B. Now for part B, so we have the equation of line 1, equation of line 2. We also have the coordinates of the point P, which are 5 and 6. Okay, so we asked, we're told that the line 1 cuts the x-axis at S and line 2 cuts the x-axis at T. 
and we want to find the area of this triangle SPT. So if you look at this triangle here, SPT, we can see that um, if we just look at this, this would be the vertical height of the triangle. Okay, and this would be the base of the triangle between S and T. All right, so this height of the triangle, the vertical height, would be the y coordinate of P, which is 6. So this height would equal 6. And the base of the triangle would be the length between S and T. So if I can find the coordinates of S and T, I can find the base of the triangle, and I can use the area equals a half times a base times a height. So that I need to find what B is. I know what H is. In order to find B, I need to find the coordinates of the points where the lines cut the x-axis. So where does line, what is the coordinates of point S? It's where line 1 cuts the x-axis. Okay, and that's when y is equal to 0. So if we substitute y equals 0 into the equation for line 1, so 5y equals 4x plus 10. So we, we replace the y with 0, you'll get 0 equals 4x plus 10. And then we need to subtract 10 from both sides. Negative 10 equals 4x. Uh, so divide by 4, negative 10 over 4 equals x. So we can say x is equal to minus 2.5. Okay, minus 2.5. Or we can also write that as minus 5 over 2 if you want to deal with fractions. Okay, so that's minus 5 over 2. That's the coordinates of s. So the coordinates of s are negative 5 over 2 and 0. And the coordinates of point t... Point T is where line 2 hits the x-axis. Again, where y equals 0, but this time on the equation of line 2, which is 5x plus 4y minus 49 equals 0. So this is 5x plus 4y minus 49 is equal to 0. So to find um, when y equals 0, you've got 5x plus 0 equals 49. So 5x equals 49. x is equal to 49 over 5. So that's the coordinates of x, so that, that, that's the coordinates of t, 49 over 5, and 0. So the distance between s and t is going to be the difference between these coordinates. So it's 49 over 5 minus minus 5 over 2, which is 49 over 5 plus 5 over 2. So, we got, so this is going to give us over 10. And this is over 10. Make the denominator the same. We have to multiply this by 2. This is going to be 98 over 10 plus multiply by 5, 25 over 10. So we have 98 plus 25. So 90 plus 20 is 110 plus 13, 123 over 10. Um, so that's the distance between S and T. 28 plus, uh, 98 plus 25. That's 13 plus 110. That's correct. So now we can say the area of the triangle is equal to a half times the base, which is 123 over 10, times the height, which was 6. Okay, so this cancels with that, leaving you with 3 up there. So you end up with 3 times 123, which is 369 over 10. 369 over 10. And that is the area, we could say 36.9 square units. And there's the answer to question number 8, part B. Um, thank you for watching. Other questions from this paper can be found in the playlist that should appear in this area. Other questions from straight line graphs topic of the new P1 syllabus can be found over here. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. Thank you for watching and see you soon.